listen to the Gio and me beggar. Right here, our Shadowcast. Hey, How hey, we doing? Hey. I know you're going to ask this question, but yes, boys, I did hit the record button. I yeah. was literally about to ask we you. We are here. I was, I was just about to ask you. Welcome, oh, everyone. Oh. Levels are great. Levels are great. Super are great. Producer, Big Toe Hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. This is a super special episode to us. Super and special. To all of you. Welcome, everybody, to the Geo and Meatbag Hour episode. Billy, Billy Russell, R- Russell tribute, tribute show. Memorial show. You know what? We're paying homage to our best fucking friend. Yeah. How does so, that sound? A lot of times in the past, you know, episodes of the Geo and Meatbag Hour, we've had to touch on some really sensitive subjects. Um, none of them are as tough and as really um, unbearably hard to cover as this topic right here. Absolutely. This is definitely going to be the most difficult episode, so please bear with us if, uh, if it's a little hard on us, yeah. but I think we'll be able we to get through We might this. cry. Yeah. We all, yeah, so, you might cry, we might cry, we'll cry to get, oh, cr- if you, you cry, cry, I cry, I'll cry yeah. with you. Oh, Le- <laughs> This is quote Kevin Nash in the yeah. longest yard. But anyways, <laughs> you can lean on me, man. Yeah. Anyways, we're all here with each other right yeah. now. And we are here with you, all the listeners. Guys, please help us pay homage to our brother because this is a super special episode. Not only to us, but hopefully to you and yeah. everybody who is ever touched by Billy so, Russell. So in February of 2018, the world lost one of the most uh, talented, ta- amazing fathers. Yeah. Amazing fathers, fiance, son, best friend, brother. bandmate, brother, musician, just everything. I personally think he's like one of the biggest diamonds in the rough in Arizona. Absolutely. Like, we lost an amazing brother in arms named Billy Russell, front man of Contradiction, um, Meatbag Hears. Uh, other band, you know, like, it, uh, I don't know. It, it hit home really hard. He's a really good friend of mine, um, and I'm, you know, not just in a sense of acquaintances. We actually no, he loved were you, friends. He loved yeah, you, you know, he really did, definitely. And uh, even after you punched him in the face, <laughs> yeah, even after we duked it out at Pot of Gold, you know, that's a true story. <laughs> yeah. And uh, honestly, uh, not many people are able, whether the whatever the lineup change is, it doesn't matter. Not many people are able to keep a band alive. For 12 fucking years but our brother billy did he kept the name contradiction alive for 12 years so what we're going to do tonight is musically we're going to have a very special episode for you guys we have tons of great contradiction stuff picked out myself geo and wonder boy all picked out two songs a piece and then of course we're ending the song with the most positive message billy russell could ever leave anybody with yep and you know what i said this before and i'll say it again i said it at the show the last show we did the uh, house party and uh, my wife was the one who told me. That was the somebody who once told me. Uh, my wife once told me that the last time you die is... There's two times you die in your life. And the last time is when people stop saying your name. So please do not ever stop Just keep them alive. Keep them alive. Yeah. And your memories. And I got your the shit tattooed on my arm. Yeah. Gio's got a really cool tribute tattoo that he did. Uh, Gio got married in February of 2016? 17. 17. Uh, and you know Billy, uh, his fiance Paige, and their daughter Violet were there. And uh, at weddings, as most of you know, they have a sign book like they want uh, to see all the people who attended their wedding and what. A little message, like yeah, a, a yearbook message, message or you, some you shit, know, you know? Yeah, exactly. And Billy had left Geo something really freaking awesome. We'll upload this to the uh, to, to the, the page. Instagram and to the to the page and whatnot on Facebook, but. Gio got a super awesome tattoo, and it says... It's it's his handwritten message from the book that says, Love you, guy, with a little punk rock, X'd out eyes, smiley face, and then it has his uh, signature there, the BR, the signature BR, Billy Russell. And honestly, that is like one of the coolest tattoos Heck yeah, it is. Great job on that, man. That's super awesome. Shout out to uh, Corey of Sacred Skin Tattoo here in Payson, Arizona. If anybody is looking to... uh, I don't mean to plug in Sacred Skin, but I'm going to go ahead and plug in Sacred Skin because they've done multiple Billy Russell tribute tattoos. Yeah, they have the stencil ready to go yes. for the never forget Billy Russell, the Billy Russell Absolutely. no slowing down. Multiple no slowing people down. got Billy Russell tribute tattoos by Corey and uh, 
Sacred Skin in Payson, Arizona. Super, super amazing, ama- absolutely amazing artist, and their work is just phenomenal. Yeah, go find them on Facebook. Well, Instagram, and they're willing. They're doing it shit. for a discount for all of the uh, Arizona yeah, punk rock community. Discount. Yeah, there's. I know little... it's a bit of a drive, but it's it's worth the artwork. Yeah, These you'll guys save are the gas money by driving up here. You know, True. What I mean? you'll get a little discount. And uh, just shout out to Sacred Skin. Seriously, those guys are some of the best. I've got all of my tattoo work done besides one tattoo from Sacred Skin. Yeah. Love every artist, and uh, they did all my wife's work, too. And Billy obviously lo- you know, loved getting his tattoos. Oh, he dude, was covered. he had contradiction all across his chest, He actually, bro. I don't know if uh, you guys saw it or not, but he had a portrait of my face <laughs> um, <laughs> right on his left peck and, uh, you know, oh, by his heart. Great. So I was like, you know, I, I, I was cool. flattered. That's cool. That's cool, man. You should be flattered. <laughs> but fuck it. Hey, let's, uh, let's get into a Contradiction song. For those people who do not know who we're talking about or uh, have never heard Contradiction, here's a taste of some older stuff that uh, I actually picked out for my wife because it's her favorite song. Yes, that's awesome. And uh, this song is off of our, uh, it was a few records ago. This is off the record, Songs of Misery. This song is called, go ahead, Gio, you introduced it, I'm sorry. It's called Acid Song, boy. 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 song contradiction oh uh off the record songs of misery such a great record uh there's a lot of songs on that album anybody if you guys want to pick up some contradiction music merchandise we still have some available uh all proceeds are going to billy russell's family there's also some uh billy russell uh merchandise online it's available for pre-order because everything that's physical gets fucking sold sold out out quicker than hot cakes on a McDonald's Sunday, you know what I'm saying? Like fucking shit is crazy. So, uh, so uh, if you guys want to get on the NoAffiliationRecords.com website, No Affiliation will direct you to some Never Forget Billy Russell T-shirts. If you guys want some Contradiction merch, go to CosmicSoupRecording.BandCamp.com. I know it's a mouthful, but Cosmic Soup Recording dot bandcamp.com to find all of your contradiction goods whether it's physical goods 
audio goods. It's just yeah. the goods, baby, because Billy really did leave a legacy behind Yep, uh, that we will all keep alive for the rest well, of our like, lives. Well, like a, a lot of us say, never stop listening to Contradiction. Like, never. Those now, songs, everything that he's put out is is a legacy now, and it's like that's all that there is. That's all that there is. Absolutely, and what helped me get through, and I'm not saying I got over Billy's death. That's not what I'm saying at all here. Uh, what I'm saying is what helped push me through these hard times to be able to do the tribute shows that we did all month long in to the be month able to con- of just March. Continue on. To go to his funeral, to be able to go to sleep at night and still go to work the next day, raise my own child. I listened to the music of Contradiction, and when I listened to it, I didn't listen to it as, oh, I'm the drummer, I can hear my drums, or oh, I'm the lead guitar player of this band. Right. I listened to it from an outsider's perspective, just so right. I could like, be able to hear. Right, like what would a 12-year-old kid, for the first time hearing this rad yeah, Arizona band, absolutely. think? Absolutely. Yeah. And like, I listened to it as in, like, you know, I just want to hear his voice, so right. I'm going to listen to the band. Yep. And that's what I listened well, for. Well, it was hard for yeah, me. Yeah, the like, rhythms and the breaks downs and the, the accents and all that's cool but it wasn't like that's what i was listening After, for like i used to it was because i was listening for billy's voice i wanted to hear his voice and that's what ultimately so helped me push after this. like i received the news from you that billy was no longer with us um it actually took me about a week to be able to listen to contradiction because i tried i tried to put it on and i immediately would just start crying because I've missed my buddy, you know, I missed my yeah, friend, and I absolutely. couldn't believe, I couldn't believe it. No, like bottom line is, I, I was, you know, like you said, I was waiting for him to text us and be like, "Got you, fuckers, haha," you know, and like, I Wait just couldn't Ashton believe Kutcher it. To come out from around the corner, oh you yeah, just got punked, bro. yeah, and, and like, Wait for yeah. him to Where hit us at? up with that prank dial app that he always did. Well, yeah, huh. and, and it just didn't happen, you know, and it was like it, it started becoming more and more true. And then after we had the beautiful um, Billy Russell Memorial Show on March third. Oh God, that was at the Yucca Tap Room. It was yeah, seated max capacity. Yeah, like by a lot. Yeah, by a lot. After, we'll after that. that show, Marketing like I really insane. started to like be able to actually listen to Contradiction again, and like that's when it hit me even harder. Like, man, these guys had everything and right. you know like billy was the diamond in the rough because he doesn't sound like anybody and he writes hits and he sings his soul out he screams like a motherfucker and he was truly the diamond in the rough of arizona Absolutely. And so probably because like a lot of people that night were covering a contradiction song yeah every band that night besides one covered a contradiction song <laughs> yep and it was super heartfelt you know what i mean like birth great. of monsters got us up they were uh the second it was bleach party usa and then, then birth, birth of monsters, monsters and then it was second up and then when birth of monsters was playing they learned hardy parter and they asked yep. me if i wanted to get up and sing and i was like oh. it's like dude ask geo i don't know yeah. and then geo being one of my best friends you know he's like come on me back get your ass up here let's do this shit. yeah we're, so we're we doing it there, dude it's now I, or never yep you i know. had a hood on and sunglasses but you know what i had a really good time singing hardy parter in front of all those people dude i've never seen yeah. the well it was, like that. It, was it was beautiful bad. man i mean beautiful. just to see Absolutely like agreed. that many people there for one beautiful individual was well, amazing I mean, but we'll, we'll we'll touch on that a little bit later when we start right. getting into some you know like future shows and stuff right 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 that are uh that are going down right but what, what were you gonna say sorry i didn't uh, mean to cut you off uh, wonder no, boy i was just gonna say like even to this day like he like he's such an inspiring person or he was I'm sorry. he's he's his voice his music his lyrics the meaning behind all the songs I can't help but my spy myself every morning like when I wake up I, like I thought a little bit of contradiction a different album like each day just like a note like, yeah. there's six albums out there I mean uh, the back down the drain again EP is super rough uh, to find on the internet but you can find it on the self uh, made disaster record yeah. which is yeah. our last all the record songs are on it we released before Billy passed away yeah but yeah um I, I have to disagree with you for just one second because it's not he was. He is yeah, still inspiring got- everybody. So, yeah. I think that's the only time he'll ever be down with you to correct him. Yeah. I, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the only time. But no, but yeah, I'm surprised he didn't he just clothesline you straight to hell. So I, want to, uh, I wanted uh, to ask, to raise a question, basically. I wanted to see, um, you know, all three of us, 
let's let's share the first time we met Billy Russell, and I'll start with Wonder Boy. All right. Um. So it wasn't like I've I haven't known Billy as long as you guys have. Like I've known Billy for maybe two two and a half. The one right before he went to jail, before the free Billy shirts. Oh, yeah, he was so, an innocent so about two years. Rock bowling of 2016 so about two years? or 15. Yeah. The Phoenix Scott Punk bowling. About two years, about probably. Two years. Roughly. Yeah. And it was like right before he went in. And like, it was just, he was at a show and like, I was at a show and like, he just came up and I, I was like, oh, like you guys did an awesome job. And like, like I had no idea who he was at the time. I didn't know he was, right. I didn't know he was friends with you guys. Like, this yeah. Guy. And then he was just like, oh, like, I was like, oh, I'm Bradley, blah, blah, introduced. And we just had, like, a conversation, and we talked. And I was just like, after that, and I was like, I Didn't even realize I performed with him that night. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably not. Like, I Might was have been a little liquored up. Lie about it, yeah. But, like, the conversation we had, it was just like, it wasn't him being like, oh, like, oh, I'm in a band, and this and that, you're at my show. It was just like, he was a human talking yeah. to me like I was a human. That was Billy, man. He was always super down to earth. Yeah. Wouldn't ever like stand on a pedestal. Like he was always super and then, chill. Like, and down to just like talk to whoever. You and, know what I mean? That's what it was. And like from that point, I was like, he's a solid person. Like I'm gonna give this band a chance. And if you listen to like in like episode one or like no, it was like po- what podcast was it? Like one of the first podcasts we got into the pod, actual pod. Oh, when Billy was like, we did. Oh, is when Contradiction dropped the self-made disaster record. Yeah. Uh, we and they did, video chatted us. Yeah, we did like an entire Contradiction day, and we video chatted them and everything. Yeah, yeah. we. Yeah, Billy's on. Just, you guys can find it at shatteredcast.podbean.com. Dot com. Again, that's shatteredcast.podbean.com. <laughs> but no, it's just like, and there's there's a couple episodes with Billy on the there. But go hour. ahead, yeah, please finish, and then we'll I talk just, about that. I just enjoyed how he was such a real person. Like through and through, it was, it was just like he cared. He was just like, you know, I'm yeah, like, that's awesome, man. He just absolutely, and it like inspired me, like to just live my life at right? the yeah. most. <laughs> absolutely, yeah. And uh, on, uh, I think it's episode number twenty eight. I believe it's 28. You, you guys can find it on shattercast.podbean.com. Another <laughs> shameless plug. <laughs> <Dot pod. laughs> Dot com. Uh, it's the interview that we do with Jason Navore, and uh, I don't, I don't know if we have Travis mentioned in the description of that. No, he but he, but he listen, yeah, tri- uh, listen. We interviewed Travis, uh, which is the stagehand of uh, like Thank the you. ultimate stagehand, like the one and only guy that is the stagehand of Authority Zero. Yeah. Him and Billy are friends, and Billy interviews him about. You know all the food he goes to eat while he's on tour, and it's yeah. fucking hilarious. It's a really Billy, good. It, yeah. Billy was drunk, dude. Yeah. So it was just. Oh, yeah. It's well. There's funny. a part where he's, he's like, like, oh, he's like, fuck, over. He's like, restart that shit. And we're we're like, like, no, dude, this is a G on Meat Bag Hour. We, we do not here. cut. It's yeah. raw to the clock. Yep. You know what I mean? We don't fuck around. You hear us like fuck Super up and mumble and shit. We don't care. Talking about that earlier, he's like saying something about how like we can't cut. Always said. Don't edit a bunch of shit. Yeah, nothing like, gets yeah, edited. Dude. And he's like, like I if love there's that about you guys, you guys are fucking stars. I'm if there's like you. some sort of malfunction where it causes some like painful sound to your ears, yeah, we'll cut it out. But other than that, I just mean, care wrong, about you, kind of. Me bag and Wonder Boy. I mean, but other than the anyways, painful sound of our podcast, before, enough about us. Before, yeah, before I like ask one of you guys how you guys met Billy, and the history. Gio mentioned like that he like when he found out that he was in shock for a week or so before he could listen to the album. I just I when you told me the, the news, I remember you were like, I got I some extremely pay. bad news for you and I'm like he was like you're like me back, you're like just the guess and I'm like, Alright, well, you and your wife broke up, like are getting a divorce. Like that's bad news to me. And he was like, No. And then like the second response was like, You got herpes. Cause like, let's be real. Like, getting herpes is that pretty shit bad. Sucks. <laughs> he got that for live homes. And then like, and then like, he told me, and like, I just instantly, I just dropped. Like, I couldn't believe it. And then I want to say after that, we went back to your house and finished off like a couple pints of that Canadian fucking. Oh, whiskey dude, we crown. bought a lot. I'm telling you right just now, you the night Billy. that we fa- or the day we found out Billy passed away, we put down a lot of Crown Royal. For that Canadian fuck, but also Billy, he loved. He's a he's a man of his. He was a man of his uh his liquor, his whiskey, right? 
He loved his. He Jameson. loved his JMO, dude. You can literally go to the Yucca Tap Room in Tempe, Arizona, and it's ask for important. a Billy, and you get a shot of Jameson and, and a sixteen ounce PBR. The, I think the it's like Billy five Special, five bucks, dude. Yeah, it's yeah. Five bucks. The Billy Special. Yeah. You want to you want to tell these guys what happened at the show, the Billy Memorial Show at the Yucca, when uh, who was it? Billy brought out the other, uh, bought out the bottle of Jameson out of his car. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a good one. Drummer Billy Stevens, we uh, it was like, hey, round up some bros, like some vices good, to the grave. Bro. Contradiction. Yeah. Shout out to vices to the grave. Shout out to contradiction. <laughs> um, uh, Billy Stevens says, hey, round up some good bros. We're going to go out to the parking lot. I got a bottle of Jameson. We're going to do a shot for Billy. And Billy doesn't drink that much. No, he never. I've never Billy drank Stevens with him. Billy Stevens doesn't. Billy yeah. Stevens. Billy Russell drank like a yeah. fish. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, he told me, he's like, uh, I got this bottle, whatever. And I'm like, dude, I've never drank with him before. So it was like, this is very important. It's, yeah. This is yeah. not just for Billy Russell. This is like for Billy Stevens <laughs> <laughs> as well. He came with but, me to do the same thing. Yeah, so, on, so I round up the boys. You have Paul from the Let Me Downs and... Uh, you have uh, fuck who else? Silva. There? Evan from Skull Drug. You have Tyler Silva from Rundown Roommates. You have Geo, myself, Wonder Boy. How you doing? Um, my drummer Billy Stevens. Big Nasty was there. Big Nasty. Uh, Shout it, out to Bevan Camp. Yeah, Bevan it was Camp. at, at gmail.com. We have a <laughs> lot of good people that were in this circle, right? My wife, I'm pretty sure, was there too. She, she was. Uh, Billy's wife was there as well. Uh, Billy Stevens' wife. And so, Billy Stevens goes to the car, goes to grab this bottle of Jameson, and as soon as it leaves the car, he drops it, and it fucking Smashes, shatters everywhere. Shatters on the ground. And everyone's just like, what the fuck? You I'll know have what? to look at the picture. I feel like I'm missing a couple you, okay, people. Okay, so you know what? Paul Levesque got a, uh, not Triple H, but Paul of the Let Me Downs, uh, got a cool picture of everyone there. So I'll have to so, figure out who all was there. You know what I, I think happened? I think that if... That would have just been a normal show, and Billy was there, and Billy Stevens had the the Jameson. I think that Billy would have probably Billy Russell would have snuck out to Billy Stevens' car and drank that whole <laughs> bottle to himself. Oh, yep, yeah. and then you Billy would Stevens would have went to the car to be like, "All right, guys, let's do a shot," and the <laughs> bottle would have been gone. Absolutely. So you know that shit was Billy Russell. <laughs> They're fucking with us. Right, 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 right. So. uh yeah, that happened, but man, that was a super cool night, dude. There's shout out to every band that was on the bill that night. Yeah, we super emotional, good time. Yes. It it really created a lot more unity. Um, I know it's sad as fuck that we lost our brother, but God the damn one it, thing it created he, well, a humongous move. The one the thing he loved was Arizona. all of us being together and staying together, and you know he he left us and we all came together and that right. was a very beautiful thing you guys and so. then right after that just all these tribute shows just started following by the the next yeah week. just boom, so boom, boom it started boom. out with like a sunday the next the following sunday which is i mean which is awesome because the proceeds are going to the family and you know what exactly. funerals aren't fucking no, cheap no, 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 you know what not. i mean like no, when somebody not. dies you got to pay up that money's got to come exactly. from somewhere absolutely so like the following night or the following Sunday, uh, not the night after the show, but a week and a day after, uh, there was a show with Chip Hanna of TSOL and uh, U.S. Bombs, and then you had uh, Kevin of Left Alone. He was doing an album release party. Uh, you had Shamehole, which is Evan of Skull Drug and his girl, uh, Critical Miss, myself, Lee of Crovac. Shout out to uh, Lee, DK Records, all the way, baby. Uh, we all did a show that night, and I filled in for Billy, and a portion of those proceeds went to Billy's family. Yep. And then after that, we did a tribute show with Mad Dog Tannen at the and uh, I can't remember the other band's name, but he said he was a good friend of Billy's and he really loved Contradiction. Right. And you know they helped inspire him, and I was very appreciative of that. So I'm sorry if I can't remember the band name, but then we then. That was Stone Cold Day, Austin 316, yep. baby. So it was 316. March 16th. We did that tribute show. And then after that, there was one in Prescott that San Martinez uh, put together with Jason Navora, myself, uh, Perfect Sense. Birth of Monsters. Oh, Chris Flyshocker was in the picture, I'm sorry, of uh, FOL. Uh, Dave of FOL. 
Oh, we're Jeremy, talking about the Jameson shot. Yeah, this is the Jameson shot picture. And Jeremy of Contradiction and the hero Lance uh, Tafoya. So, yes, those were the people in the whiskey shot picture after Billy broke the bottle. But anyways, uh, just all these different shows just started lining up. And it was like, holy fuck, dude. All these yeah. people are going out of their way to put on these tribute shows for Billy. Well, it's amazing to see. Great. You know, just everybody, like you're saying, just everybody coming together and doing this. It's a fucking movement, It dude. just really it's shows huge. you how many people he really impacted, like, in his time here. In his short time on this earth, he is blessed right? and and you know like just impacted and right. influenced so many different people so let's just let's give a shout out to billy russell because he showed more hype in the feed or in the the punk rock scene he got the punk rock scene just hyped up yep you know it's sad to say that it took a legend dying for you know everyone to come together and just be such you know a, you know it's bigger than better than what it was before, absolutely dude you know? yeah absolutely but, i agree Let's just not let it. Let's not let's slow down. Let's keep it going. Let's get the hype going, guys. Uh, yeah, let's stay together. And you know what? Let's give these people something that uh, always impacted the Arizona punk rock scene, and that was Billy's songs, Billy's songwriting skills, his uh, melody uh, creation, his formula, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know if this guy knew how fucking good he was at this shit. Oh, dude. But yeah, his dude. songwriting skills were out of this world. Blew the fucking roof off of every joint that we had ever played. Oh, yeah. And Billy was a huge reason of that. And I could, I mean, we've played in front of a uh, thousand people. We've played in front of ten people before. And any show I've ever played in with Contradiction has been off the fucking chain and yep. I feel like Billy was a big reason and a big and a big cause for that. Because you guys gave hundred and ten percent every time you guys played. Oh yeah. Every time Billy got on the stage, grabbed the mic in his hand. We gave sixty percent a hundred percent. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we should get into a song. All yes, right, that's guys. That's exactly yeah. what I'm saying. Here. So I let's hear give voice. these people the reason uh, why we're all here. And yeah. I feel like his music is definitely a big reason yeah. why we're here. Oh yeah. So this here is the second song that I picked, and it is off Contradiction's latest Geo, album. Geo, Geo. It's all about Geo. It's all about <laughs> Geo. <laughs> this is the. The song that Geo picked, that's right, Alex Stupid from Alex Geo. Squared's Geo. <laughs> uh, uh, picked. Gio of Alex Squared. Gio <laughs> of Alex Squared. So, this is off Contradiction's latest album. This is called Make It On My Own Ooh. off of the album Self Made Disaster. Great. Contradiction with Make It On My Own. What a great freaking song. Oh, yeah. Not just because that drummer on that record is oh. just absolutely humble. 
garbage. But off the goddamn chain. Uh, just because. <laughs> that's just because. That's the opposite of humble. <laughs> <laughs> But just because Billy Russell really could create a song, honestly, like we all lived in different cities. It was Billy and Prescott, Jeremy and Glendale, now Phoenix, and myself and Payson. So we all lived in different cities, an hour and a half away from each other. So all we really were able to do were just take notes from Billy and just be like, you know, accept what he had for us. You know, it wasn't like we had much time to sit in a room and create fucking songs. Yes, we did do that when we were in a studio together, but it wasn't often because Billy was such a great songwriter and he would send us songs all the freaking time and just be like, dude, got a new song. Dude, got a new song. Dude, got a new song. And you're like, yeah. All right, I'm still trying to learn the last five that you sent me. So, like, just give me a second. I'll get to, bro. Yeah, give me a second. I'll get to the next one. They always had to stay two albums ahead of Alex. Oh, Corey, God, you know? dude. <laughs> At least. Dude, seriously. But anyways, uh, thank you all for staying tuned to the Geo and Meatbag Hour, the, the Billy the, uh, Russell yeah. Tribute uh, show. We appreciate you all being here. Uh, I wanted to say, before we get too far away from the song, um, the reason why I picked that song is because Billy has such a great diversity in what he does. He can sing you a sweet melody and put you to sleep with happiness on your face. Or he can scream at the top of his lungs what he's pissed off about. Oh. You know, and, and then you everything just translate that anger yeah, out of well, your body. And then everything in between. You know, yes. he's got the na na's on lock, the yeah yeahs on lock. <laughs> like That's all there is in punk rock. You know, like hey, yeah, Billy yeah, was and... Dude, he was the full woes, the ultimate woes. package, man. Yeah, the woes. Come on. Dude. So a lot of, you know, reasoning behind these, you know, songs that you hear, albums that you hear, is the mastermind at Cosmic Soup Recording. Absolutely. Which is Jeremy Daniel. Daniel of Contradiction, of uh, the CEO. Torn at the Seam. Of Torn at the Seam as well. Yeah. The CEO of Cosmic Soup Recording. And I think uh, we need to try to give this guy uh, give this guy a phone call. I think we need to get yeah. Jeremy on the phone, honestly. Dial him up. Uh you know what I mean? It's just uh, it's it's someone that we really uh, look up to, admire, and appreciate because Jeremy is one of the most I want to say genuine souls on the planet. He's he so beautiful. Seriously, is yeah, he's so good. He, so he's gentle. He's so good at what he does, and it's just being a good guy and just being a a great engineer producer. He does. He Best he does friend. all of our records too. He does so. all of our records. But anyways, let's here get we into a. Uh, we got Jeremy Daniel on the phone. Yeah, let's let's talk to Jeremy. Like I don't know him. Jeremy Daniel on the phone Jeremy. right here. Jeremy, how you doing, buddy? Welcome Jeremy. to the Geo and Me Bag Hour. I'm doing good. How are you guys doing? Oh, we're, we're doing, doing awesome. Great. We're glad to talk to you, buddy. We're so glad to have you here right now. Uh, I'm glad to be here. <laughs> it's dude. It's. It's awesome to have you because we're doing this Billy Russell tribute show, and there's nobody else. I mean, there's a couple other people we could call, but the first person we have to absolutely call is one of his absolute best friends and uh, bandmate, Jeremy yeah. Daniel. Yes, I should be top of the list. <laughs> yeah, you are, buddy. You, you are. are definitely. So <laughs> let's let's start off with like the basics. Like, how did you guys meet? What are some you know? fond memories you have of them Let, we're just gonna let you take Do you the have here. shellfish allergies i'm just kidding awesome so um yeah so i met billy um probably close to 10 years ago um he was uh playing a show at uh famous sam's and he was playing with a vet and josh and uh really i really liked him i thought the songs were great i thought his Vocals were great, and so I ended up talking to him, let him know that I really liked the band and I'd be interested in recording them. So uh, a couple months go by, we ended up doing uh, the record called Sound of the Street, and then every once in a while, like I'd see him out playing or whatever, I'd go see him. Um, I was working at this place called the Copper State Tavern, and so they, they play there a lot. And um, Billy would end up, you know, coming up like, you know, when I was doing shows, he'd help me out and stuff just to kind of hang out. And and then our 
our friendship kind of started getting stronger and then but we never really like hung out other than just at shows or or for for recording and then um he had heard uh one of my songs i think it was like on myspace or something MySpace. and uh the song was called the pile Beatles, taker right and so i remember him sending me a message saying like hey i really like this song is it true or are you just making a funny song <laughs> and i just said no there's a little bit of truth to that and so he's right. like well i think we should hang out and so i'm like okay and so like we well you so know we we what, went out to like timmy's or something had some drinks, went back to my garage, and I told him, I'm like, hey, I've got some other songs I'm working on. And so then we, well, you what, know, we started what was working the, on music. Uh, what was the content of the song, really? Um, <clears throat> the, the, the song was about, um, if you ever uh, know a friend or, or somebody that, like, if, if anybody's um, sharing drugs, there's always that one guy that always wants to take the most. Right. And so I would call that person the pile taker. Yeah. The pile taker. (laughs) 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 AKA Billy Russell. (laughs) No, 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 not always, but it was, but, uh, not always. It's always always like the the guy that never like puts anything in that always wants to take the most. But, um, but yeah, we, we started working on songs together. We called ourselves anything but this. Um, and then eventually like I joined contradiction and, um, you know, we, we recorded, uh, everything we ever did in my, in my mom's garage. Um, we had just many nights of just hanging out. We'd, uh, we'd go to circle K and like neither one of us had any money. So we'd, (laughs) so we'd buy, uh, two Mickey's 40s and then we'd buy uh, a four loco and so we'd drink like some, uh, some of the Mickey's down to the label and then we'd pour the four loco in there oh, and, then, God. And, and so we'd uh, we savages called yeah. a, a sidewalk slammer for those oh nice oh. And they learn something new every day right? sidewalk slam yeah. I like it it's got a nice ring to it yeah. That's, a, that's a wrestling move. You know that, right? Is it really? Yeah. It is. Kane, Kane, Kane uses it a lot. <laughs> that's probably where Billy stole that from. <laughs> well, he is Canadian, so he probably knew how to wrestle really well. He just right. didn't tell any of us. <laughs> yeah, I think that was like donuts. one of his little secrets that no one knew, but, but he, was a, he was a closet wrestling fan. <laughs> he was a closet wrestler. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> he was probably he had, like a he lucha. Had, he was a luchador. No, he, he wore a mask. Those, yeah, he had one of those yeah, masks. He did. Oh yeah, yeah. a Ray Mysterio mask. Yeah. yeah, I remember that. So yeah, um, I don't know what are uh, I know there's a million and two stories, but what are like some of the craziest times you've ever had with that cat? That cool oh cat. man, I don't know if I could. Uh, Display that kind of information, information here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, just change shit up a little bit. You know how to do no, it. No, so, like I, we weren't, <laughs> we weren't smoking the grass. We were. Uh, Don't say anything incriminating. Say we were blowing dandelions. <laughs> <laughs> just put a bunch of beats no. in it. <laughs> no, I mean it was, it was, it was nothing bad. We we kind of uh, balanced each other out because like he would kind of get me into some situations that I wouldn't ordinarily get myself into but then yet like i would kind of keep him from getting into some situations that he would always get himself into and so it was a nice balance because you know even though we're like hanging out we're drinking and stuff like we always were working on music we were always get getting stuff done so like even if we were like out in the garage until three or four o'clock in the morning and pissing off our girlfriends and stuff like we still made a song like, yeah you guys still were still something. making some type of progress yeah 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 one of the many so, sacrifices I, as a uh... i will i will tell you this this story though that oh, oh only like a few people know about but um billy and I and this other guy, a comedian, 
started a riot at the Tempe Improv. Oh my God! What? Yes. So this this comedian um, was was friends with Billy and I, and he asked us like if we would be part of this little skit that he was gonna do, and that skit involved popping popcorn. And so me and Billy and our drummer at the time, Squiz, we were going to play like some background music. And this guy was going to like do this song about popping popcorn. And so he brought like a real life microwave on set at the improv and popped popcorn. And, you know, we didn't practice this. We didn't know what the hell was going on, (laughs) but he must have set the microwave for like seven minutes or something. And so the popcorn's like pop and pop and pop and eventually starts like catching on fire. So now the smoke is coming out of the microwave. So the people at the improv are like, you know, Hey, sh- shut it off. You're done. You know, this yeah. isn't funny. Like kill it. And so I had no idea what was going on. Billy doesn't know what's going on. This comedian just wants to keep it going because he just wants this reaction out of everybody. Right. So they ended up like, you know, coming on stage, unplugging all of our instruments, unplugging the microwave. We're still not stopping. And then they, they start playing like hit the road jack music so we'd stop, but we just still kept on going. Then <laughs> oh they turned God. the lights off on us. <laughs> Holy so, shit. So while they were turning the lights off, some guy from the stage threw a glass at the comedian. So the comedian gets all upset, jumps off stage, goes to fight this guy. Everyone in the crowd's like beating the shit out of this. Oh comedian. my god! <laughs> Classic <laughs> bar fight. Are like, oh, it's great. I'm like, oh my god, what do we do? What do we do? And they're like, no, just get, just leave, just leave. And I'm like, no, we're not leaving our stuff here. So we're trying to like grab our amps and <laughs> cables and stuff. And so they like make us leave out the back door and everything. Oh, my God. People are, yeah, people are going like crazy. Wow. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah. luckily, not many people are going to know that story can so, still. So. Yeah, no, nobody will really hear that story still, even though you told it here, so don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we thought like we thought the improv was like going to ban us and all this other stuff, but they don't. They didn't so, even yeah. remember you guys. That's no, how little no, of an impact remember. you made. <laughs> it, shit must yeah. happen like that often there. Ow. She's so rich. <laughs> Probably. So, <laughs> so basically, like, a very yin and yang friendship you guys had because, like you said, he, he would get you to do things that you would never think of doing, yet you would be there to stop him from doing things that he always would do. So. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, that's fucking beautiful, man. That's a friendship, buddy. That's a friendship. But- so, uh... You know, I, I know this is the Billy uh, tribute episode, and, you know, we all love Billy, but enough about that fucking asshole. Let's talk about Jeremy, you know what I mean? Let's uh, let's see what you're up to, man. <laughs> Torn oh up to scene, God. man. God. Yeah, so... Uh-